ready for this? I'm so excited. Whoa. To my channel today I have a fun video for you guys I am replacing the fletchings on some of my arrows with an archery product that I've not used before it is called the quick fletch and it's by NAP so I will dig into that in just a second but first and quite possibly more importantly I'm gonna be drinking a beer while I do this so Um, <laughs> so let me show you what I got. So these are the products that I'm going to be using. Again, this is called the Quick Clutch. So these products in theory are going to make it easier to fletch your arrows than it would to use a jig with glue, all that stuff. Which again is sometimes fun, but if you're in a pinch, it can be a little bit annoying. So I'm excited to see how these work. I've never used anything like this before. But it seems pretty simple. So the instructions are as followed. Slide quick fletch tube over knock end of arrow shaft. Dip the arrow into boiling water for 10 seconds. And step three, remove arrow from boiling water and let dry. And the only other thing it says on here is that quick clutch tubes are heat sensitive, so you don't want to leave them in areas of extreme heat, probably like in your truck in the sun in Florida, <laughs> like where I'm at. All right, so it's just a like a thick plastic film, think of like a Ziploc bag kind of feel, and then your standard veins, except they're on there super tight, obviously, so they're not gonna go anywhere. Whenever I remove my fletchings, I use a butter knife. I find that it's not sharp enough to damage the arrow itself, but it still does a pretty good job of removing the fletchings. So that was my first round, just removing the three fletchings. And you can see on here, there's still some, some more residue. So all I do is continue to slide the butter knife over that residue and it all comes off. These little cleaning wipes are by AAE, Arizona Archery Enterprises. And I use them whenever I'm fletching my arrows. So I figure we want these shafts to be as clean as possible before we actually put the quick clutch on them. So I'm gonna wipe them up with this first. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. I, I mean, I know what to expect, but these things are so cool. So I'm just excited to see if it works as well as I think it's going to. I'm also lining up the top of this with the end of the shaft so it doesn't like peel over onto the knock if that makes sense, but it's right there at the edge. So this one's ready. All right, here we go. So the water wasn't quite high enough, that's why I had to like tilt it, but that's okay. It looks like it worked very well. So I'm gonna let this dry. That is sick. Oh my God, that is so cool. I'm sure you guys are freaked out that all of the water is going to like fall out when I do this. So I'm sorry if I'm making you nervous. That was so easy. This is really, really cool. This is a very cool product. So next step is just to let them dry, which they're pretty much dry and they feel like they're on there really well. Tomorrow or in a couple of days, we'll actually take them out there and shoot them. All right, 
it is a couple days later and we are out on the range, so to speak, ready to test out these quick fletch arrows. So it didn't take them that long to dry, but again, it's been a little while and they've actually been sitting in a hot garage. We are in Florida, if you didn't know, and the garage has been hot and even a little bit humid and they have stayed on perfectly and they look really, really good. Even just feeling the way the fletchings feel on feels really sturdy and durable. So I have my target out there ready to go. Let's get to shooting these things. Ready? Okay, this is the first time we're shooting the quick fletch. Quick, ooh, the quick fletch. Let's give it a try. Also, I would like to note, I have loosened up my wrist strap a little bit per some of your comments. So I'll really try and focus on the way that I'm holding the bow as I shoot. You'll see. We'll try. I thought I was going to focus on not grabbing the bow right away, but I just did it naturally. That's okay. Felt good. Feel like it flew very well. Let's see how number two goes. I tried less that time. That group actually flew great. Let's go take a look. About 30 yards, again with a bow that isn't sighted in. So if I move my pin a little bit, um, I would probably be in like this area. So I'll move it a little bit. That's a decent grouping for me. Shoot a little more. Dark skies are looming right now. We probably have 20 minutes before we get dumped on. good on my end and again the arrows feel like they're flying great this is exciting this is very exciting oh. all right I think that group was a little more spread but let's check it out You know what I'm feeling? As I was just at full draw and like really letting my hand sink in, I could feel my wrist strap, I think because I'm so sweaty right now, like pulling forward on my hand. Like it was just sliding more forward and more forward. So I was waiting until it was like set in a place. You know, I wasn't going to shoot while it was sliding, if that makes sense. All the more reason to be shooting a thumb release. For those of you who are watching who are new, uh, a wrist strap is a great place to start as an archer, but if you're looking for the most accuracy, you probably want to consider switching to a thumb release um, or a back tension release. But both of those are a little more complicated to learn, so that's why people normally start with a wrist strap. Fun fact. Here we go. So some questions that you might have. First, at least this was a concern that I had, is it going to peel after I start shooting? And from the looks of it, no. Now this is only one practice session. I've not used it for a full season yet, but by the looks of it, they're on there good. There's no added noise or anything. 
Not that there would be, because essentially this is like a wrap with fletchings on top. Just like you would manually wrap your arrow and glue fletchings on. So it's really, in my opinion, no different than that. Seemingly. They seem to be flying well. They seem nice and sturdy. We don't, unfortunately, have a box for a pass-through test. So that will be included in a future video. But overall, I'm super impressed. I think for how easy it was to install these things, thus far I see no difference between, actually, not no difference. Normally when I fletch myself, there are always fletchings that are falling off eventually, you know? probably just you know human error on that end but um, I've had no issues with these so far and we've been shooting here for a bit but again only one practice session so maybe too early to tell but first impressions are good I give it a thumbs up I'm excited to use the quick fletch this season and see how it goes let me know what you think in the comments below Oh my god, the rain is coming too. This is perfect timing. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.